Technology is a big theme at Sundance this year, and documentary Love Child tells the story of one fatal result of gaming addiction in South Korea. Going into it, the idea that someone could be an in internet addict and uh, so immersed in their media that they couldn't take care of their child seems, you know, com like ludicrous. You know, it doesn't seem like that makes sense. But after getting to Seoul, South Korea, and seeing the extensive technological advanced state that they have, where they are just super advanced both in software and hardware, it, it makes more sense that we should learn to what extent we can be immersed in it, that it's still beneficial for our life and for the society around us. What do we do next? How do we take this engaging virtual world and graft in our humanity and kind of extend the virtual space um, beyond just the computer console, which is a very kind of almost one-dimensional interaction? And how can we kind of like uh, bring technology more integrated into the society? Love Child itself quite literally merges the real and the fictional using an advanced, highly technical filmmaking technique. Instead of recording an image of all of the pixels assembled into a picture. The camera records the geolocation of each pixel and then will spit it back out in an animation software and kind of create a 3D rendering or a kind of surface scan. The, that's the never before used technology that we used in this feature film to take us between the real world and the virtual world and back. So it, it kind of like breaks it down. It's, it's a very nice transition. Beyond using technology in the film, Love Child was also executive produced by T-Mobile CEO John Ledger, who they explain has similar goals for a safer and more social technological future. Well, I think he understands the, the, the topic is not one that is just so one-sided as the internet is evil and we need to limit it, but rather that you know, you know, as technology advances, a lot of these games that are being played on computers in a room locked away with no interaction could be put on your phone. and you know, as the CEO of T-Mobile, that, that, that's very interesting.